this has been a truly exciting project, building five spacecraft and 20 ground-based observatories, flying spacecraft in synchronized orbits. You couldn't ask for more. This is a first for NASA to launch five spacecraft on one launch vehicle, but the big challenge for the team was to put all of that science into five small spacecraft. They're so small that we often re refer to them as probes. Now to get them into space, we had to design a, a probe carrier, something to carry them and not have each probe have to lift the other probes into space. So we don't stack them. The probe carrier was designed by Swales Aerospace to lift each probe separately into space and separate them individually. Now they say that uh, good things come in small packages. I'd have to say that these probes are great by that measure. They are powerful. It's amazing to think that these things will, will accelerate themselves over halfway to the moon. The probes are tough. They can take flying through the radiation belts and keep on going. They can take three-hour shadows of the Earth and keep every component inside warm while the outside is freezing cold. The probes are smart. Every one of them travels a vast distance from the Earth and can't do that in contact with the Earth so it can't constantly telemeter. Each probe has to then detect the substorm, capture that data, compress it, and then wait until it gets closer to Earth to transmit that data to the ground. After the probes were integrated in Berkeley and environmentally tested in, at JPL, the probes and carrier were trucked to Florida in separate containers. Once inside the clean room, we were able to remove their covers. The next step was uh, to install the separation system bolt cutters. Here the engineers are, are putting those together. Now the third stage, as you heard, sends a signal to each bolt cutter, releasing each probe from the carrier. And then kick springs push the probe away from the carrier. Each spacecraft was given a complete set of electrical tests, including check out of their solar arrays. Uh, black lights were used by contamination engineers to verify and to clean up anything that was, was not uh, clean on either the probe carrier or the probes. This is a scene of installing all of the probes on the carrier. This is a video of the spin balance. Now this is done to make sure that when the third stage fires, the third stage and the PCA go where, they intend, where we intend them to go attach the transfer can in order to keep it clean uh, from the elements as it would be transported over to uh, the launch site. Rollout was about midnight or so and it took about five hours to, trans, uh, to uh, get over to uh, the launch site. So in summary, it's been a great project. It's uh, been demanding, uh, but I think we kept everything pretty simple and uh, uh, we've just had a lot, of, uh, a lot of fun. We're looking forward to the next challenge, which is synchronizing all five spacecraft over North America and keeping, and keeping them uh, humming along. And we're very excited about the science that we're going to get.